This week, uh, we brought you the heartbreaking story of Molly the Magpie, surrendered to authorities by his Gold Coast family for being kept unlawfully. Now, that story, of course, made international headlines. And after one month, Molly's family has finally been given some hope he might be coming home. Molly's owners, Juliet and Reese, join us live now from the Gold Coast. Good Hello, morning guys. to you. Juliet, I thought no one loved the Magpies more than I do. Yeah. But clearly, you guys do as well. <laughs> Good morning, Carl and Sarah. Yeah, we're, we're pretty excited to announce that we have actually found, uh, finally got some contact from the Department of Environmental Science and Innovation, DESI. And uh, they did say that they're working to proceed with um, guidance from the Premier. So uh, we just want a solution. I mean, it's been a month, so we're just sitting here waiting and mm you know, we're willing to work with the department. So hopefully this will be a good step forward. Well, the Premier needs any kind of break he can get right now. Um, <laughs> this would be a good start. Um, what, what's happened to Molly? Where has Molly been? Uh, so we got an update. He, they haven't given away any information for obvious reasons where he is. They did say that they were working closely with a vet with him just to... Um, do some tests and um, make sure that he's happy, healthy. Uh, we would actually like some sort of photo or video evidence because, mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, we, we know this bird, so <laughs> we'd, we'd really like to see how he's doing for ourselves. Yeah, you don't want it to be um, not the right bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so beautiful to see their relationship, <laughs> though, isn't it? I mean, and this is something that you fostered as you've cared for Molly. I don't know that anyone could provide as much care as you two have. Oh, look, we've done our best. We've done lots of research and study in, in, in relation to looking after the magpies. But, um, yeah, I think, he's, I think he feels love. He's got the best of both wheels. He comes and goes whenever he wants to go. Um, and then comes home and plays with the guys, the girls, whenever, whenever he wants to. And, yeah, I think, I think we've done an, an OK job for So, Reece, they're yeah, saying you guys have got to have some... I mean, he's always had the option... Sorry, it's just, so they're saying you guys have got to have some kind of uh, education as to, as to how to treat the bird before it's back in your care. What will that entail, do you think? Oh, look, we're not quite sure yet. Um, <laughs> I've been through all the, uh, the, the accredited training for, uh, to rehabilitate wildlife. Um, I've had to, uh, obviously you know all that, I've had to retract my permit, uh, my application. Uh, so we're not quite sure exactly what sort of further um, training is involved, um, but they're going through the legalities right now to work out what they can do to, uh, to bring him home. So uh, we've also offered to uh, utilise our platform, which is a pretty big platform to help educate other people mm. in relation to wildlife and what to do if they come in contact because um, there's been a lot of development over the years and and uh, the habitat has really like diminished mm. uh, where to the point where there are a lot more wildlife becoming more reliant on people and having more interaction with people. What is Peggy doing so, with herself yes, at the moment? We just often... What's Peggy, do? I mean Peggy must miss that bird like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look, both of the girls really do. And I put up a video. We do have a magpie puppet, and um, especially Ruby, she's been cuddling it and falling to sleep oh, with it. What? Um, the, oh, no. The other morning, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I had this shadow of a dog just looking out the window. Oh, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, so we've been giving them extra. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite heartbreaking to watch. What a relationship that is, huh? It's beautiful. Oh, there's such a strong. There definitely is such a strong bond there. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of it. Yeah, and it has been for us too. Let's hope it's all rectified yeah. pretty quickly. I mean, I was a little bit shocked um, that Molly's a boy. It's like the whole bluey thing. <laughs> it, just, it just didn't quite work. It didn't work in your mind. <laughs> it didn't quite compute. Hey, let us know when it happens. That reunion's going to be something special. And good on you two for fighting the fight. Gorgeous. Thank you Thank so you much, much for having us on the show. You guys are sweethearts. Yes, Appreciate are. it. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?